The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, uh, boys and girls. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, feeling good, Lewis. <laughs> anyway, this is where we were coming in here on Wednesday. Here we are now, December 1st. Now, you'll notice here on this chart, December 1st is pretty just a day or two off of this. So maybe this is a blow off high. The one thing I know, folks, the amplitudes of these cycles have nothing to do with the amplitude in the stock market. These are all timing dates. They are dates. They are not. They are not volatility. In other words, you're not expecting this low, you know, to be lower than that low. No, you're not expecting that. You're expecting a turn because these are cycles coming together. You notice here's December 1st, where we are right now. Uh, I don't think anybody could assume this is a low in the stock market with the Dow Jones in the last three hours moving up another. 350 points along to the 470 that it was up yesterday that's 800 and some points in two days and it's not finished but remember this has nothing to do with volatility it has to do with timing yesterday it looked like everything was perfect we were down almost 50 handles in our short and then of course the market reversed uh, on mr one of the i think i don't know which one of the dudes was talking but uh, they they talked it up and it didn't need much talking because the way it went and I said on the video last night I said I when you see a Dow move that much uh, 200 points in the last uh, 15 minutes of the day that is a tremendous amount of buying you can't really fade that plus if you put into the equation that the most two positive positive days of the month are the last day of the month and the first day of the month that's when new money comes into the stock market from profit sharing and places. There's a high statistical number on that. So that's uh, today also. Now, what I'll be watching Monday, I'll be watching for a place to say, is this a possible potential top? I'm not going to be looking for a bottom, folks. I can't chase a market that's run like this. That's not what my pattern recognition stuff is all about. Yeah, I missed it here. I should have had, I should have had a big piece of it, but I didn't. And believe me, folks, emotionally, I'm paying the price. Financially, it doesn't make any difference to me anymore whether I trade or not. I love trading. I do relatively well at it, but I don't have to do it if I don't want it. But when I when I see that particular movement that we spent so much time on that lunar eclipse and I never even got a 382 pullback and it just went straight up and look what the Dow's done, folks. Wow, when I look at that and I say, oh my goodness. And I was so bullish and yet now here we are at this level right here. You see these numbers up in here, folks? These are lower highs. That's not a good sign. Okay, this was a lower low, just like it should be. What's important now is what happens from December 1st, and now this that day is the 13th. Uh, watch the 12th and 13th of December. That's going to be the key date, nine or ten days from where we are right now. If this is just a little tiny bit of a pullback right here, for God's sakes, don't be short because this thing could make the 1929 top look like a bear market. And it was a bear market. But, I mean, really, this thing could really go much, much higher. Look what the Dow Jones. I believe the Dow Jones has taken out the yearly high from January. Uh, someone mentioned to the fact that we were not very far away. I haven't checked that. I will, of course, over the weekend. But that's what we're paying attention to here today. So my... I was nothing wrong with that. I mean, it looked really good that we were going to have these uh, really and the bonds acting perfectly. And as we look at these now, let's just get these out of the way and bring up the chart here. Look at the bonds, folks. We're we got a handle of 118 now. Are you kidding me? 118. Look where we were watching. I mean, this was a beautiful pattern that we had, just absolutely perfect. Let's get that four hour in there. There it is, right there. Look at that, just absolutely perfect. We we took some profit in that. Fortunately, what we did is we, we put our buy stop on the second part of it uh, right in here uh, at 06. And uh, look where we are at 02 now. It's, just, it's shattering. But look at this. On the weekly, what it's doing, this is telling us that we're breaking above the 382 on the weekly, right? Now, if you want to 
if you want to kick the little pooch down the road, this little poor little puppy sitting here in Tucson, Arizona, look where my forecasted low was here, folks. That low came in at 105 and change. 105. This is the new the new option, the new September or March, uh, December. But look at that. Went to almost to the exact tick, and I didn't get my fill. So well, we got some of this. So I'm not I'm not complaining about that. But this is a this is exceeded the 382 of this high right here, folks. That means that we're going to get a move at least in the bonds. And I think I said it. It's going to be at least a $17 move up to there. And there it is right here. 17 added to five takes you to 17 and 5, 22, 23. So that's probably where we're going to go. And that, that's not very far away, folks. That's only three three or four points away here. So the Treasury bond market, the, the Feds have told us that we are done raising rates and we're having fun. I'll tell you, folks, it's been an a, a interesting week from a, from a lot of perspectives. I, I appreciate all the support that I've been getting, but I have to show you the one that there's several of them that frustrated me. But look at this wheat trade that we did. Come on. And I moved my stop. What I did was I moved my stop right here to break even after I bought it. And I moved to stop to break even, which was right there, and I got stopped out. Here it is, $3,000 higher. I mean, you know, that's uh, <laughs> that makes up for the whole week. But, you know, that's trading. And what are you going to do? You got to do one thing at a time and do the best you can. That's all you can really do. Let's look for just one second at what's coming up because something big is happening here in the U.S. dollar. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. We'll talk about it in just a little bit. And then when we come back from the break, I want to look at some of these stocks in the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average and talk to that, talk about them. I don't do stocks at all, but you know, I have people on the show here that do really well with stocks. That one, in, for instance, was uh, you know uh, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. I spoke with Jeff early this morning, talking about some of the things that he's seeing, and you know he uh, feels like I do that <laughs> when you see something like this. Yes, it's an outlier event, but it's a not an outlier event in, in not in a good way. That yes. Maybe this thing is going to be a spike and it's going to go up for a very, very long time. But I have to be a tiny, tiny bit skeptical. I remain to be seen. If he keeps going up all next week, then all bets are off. This could be a spectacular blow off similar to the 1989 December move in the Nikkei when it got to 39,800 on New Year's Eve of 1989. And it has never, ever, ever even come close to that. And that's been da, 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 34 years ago. So just be really careful what you ask for, folks. Anyway, they don't let the little people win very much. Boy, they're letting them win big time now. And I think it's, it's important that they enjoy it because, you know, we never know when this puppy's going to end. But I, I will take nips, nips and tucks and make a buck. That's what I'm trying to do. As a matter of fact, I had one here that I was really interested in doing and I decided I basically shouldn't do. And I'll get this up here and show you right here. I said I probably should sell this 4602 is what I said. But I said, eh, maybe I'll wait a little bit. And I am going to wait because I think this is just part of what we're looking at. Hey, let's take a little break here, folks. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to go through this S&P here for the going back to the 22nd right after Thanksgiving. If you remember, the trade that we were looking at was this ABCD pattern that was forming right here up there at 93.14. When we sold it at 1492, the high was 94. And then we came all the way down here. This is where our order was to cover the short. <laughs> Missed it by a couple of handles and, of course, uh, Look what's happened now. All we're doing now is we're making another A, B, C, D pattern up here at 4602. That's really all we've done. And we've made the 1.27 expansion. You see this number back here, this 1.618? We get above that. That thing is good. Wow. This could really, really go. But it's already gone quite a bit. Uh, someone's asked a question uh, via Skype. If uh, Do I get emotionally upset about this not really you know the losses don't bother me what what really bothers me which is the number one thing that mark douglas taught me well the years he worked here the six years six years he was here we had some pretty famous dudes uh coming through here one of them with the initials of sc he's in the news all the time and uh his biggest thing was that he didn't like to leave money on the table fear of missing out god that was a that was a, he didn't mind losing but boy, he didn't like to leave money on the table. And boy, that's what's happened to me here uh, ever since uh, October the uh, 27th. It's bothered the heck out of me. But you know what? I'm going to be okay, and I'll show you why, boys and girls. Here's the daily chart. If you remember, boys and girls, we were short up here, and we were short here, and we were short here, and we were looking to be a buyer down. I did everything right except buy down here. And that's what I screwed up, okay? So... Anyway, that's it. It's been a long time coming, but uh, we got more to go, and it's going to be interesting here. Let's look at this quickly on the weekly because uh, we're very, very close to taking out the weekly high up here, which comes in at 46.34. We could easily, easily do that, but you can see here was the ABCD pullback here on the 22nd of October, and now we're coming into this really strong cycle period from December 1st to December the 13th. Folks, if this market goes straight up into December 13th, my cycle theory is really, really flawed. And I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, it's off by a day or two. Sure, sometimes it doesn't work at all. That would be one of those situations where it doesn't work at all. 
but believe me, you, you know, you've got to pay. Uh, well, you don't have to do anything, but that's it. Let's take a quick look at something that we've got to be focusing on in the newsletter this week. Hold on. Uh, this, this is this dollar index because here's where we are. Okay, the dollar index. This is a daily. Now, look. We're come down here right to this 102 and change. You see that? We're trading at 103.14. We had a little bit of a bounce here. We got up to 103.69. So we really need to watch this very, very closely because this is where the dollar index has got a chance for some pretty good support. Now, why do we think that? You see this move down right here? Okay. That's when we were short the euro all that time. Look at this. That's why you got to pay close attention to it. You see that last move during May and July? That's two, two months down. How many? It was uh, all of June, half of July. So this one was uh, October, November, December. So this is the level we're almost at. That We've made the same type of correction. And look where it is. It's right at the one point or the 61% retracement. So these are the things that we're going to be looking at in the newsletter this weekend because we need to go over the five majors to see where we are because there's probably getting ready for a pretty good move. As we were watching this, I have one eye over here on this British pound, and I want to bring this over to show you here because you see the British pound is coming back to the highs back in here. If we look at this on the daily, look where we are. We're right back here to the 61% retracement again. So you factor that in where we are, the dollar index, we really need to focus on this time frame right now with the British pound. Very, very important. Hey, this is from my perspective too, folks. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it's not uh, in your perspective at all. Let me get this uh, uh, straightened out here so we can look at a couple other charts that I've already covered the Russell. And the Russell, by the way, oh, I took it off. The Russell, by the, oh, boy, look at this crude oil. Son of a gun, I just missed it. <laughs> oh, there's your, there's your, we talked about this early this morning uh, on the first video. We got up to this level right here. Misses your fill here by the three pips and look at it. It's down two grand. And uh, that's a little frustrating when that happens, but uh, <laughs> oh, brother. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's get back up here. Take a look at the gold market because the gold is really smoking today. We're up about 30 bucks, I believe. See, 55, yeah, we're up 30, 30. Well, from yesterday, yeah, we're up $30, a big move. I was looking for a potential uh, 382 retracement off of one of these things here, but the only thing we even had close was back here. This was, thank, remember the Thanksgiving one we talked about? There was your, there was your ABCD, and then boom, you went up. Then your first move down from that level, there was your 382 right here, and then boom, You've got another one here. Let's see if that was the one for today. If it was, I should. Uh, there it is again. 382, 382. And look where we're going. We just keep skyrocketing, folks. $150, folks, in nine days in the gold market. We're look at this. We're at the 1.618. We're almost 2,100 handles, folks. 2,198. Let's try that again, Larry. 2,098. So let's look at this on the really long-term weekly because I believe our price objective goes a little – oh, this is the new – this is the February that we're looking at. Uh, this is February spot gold, which is uh, – eh, it's, it's equivalent to it. But you'll notice here this is where we're – this is where we're most probably headed. <laughs> oh, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Stevie was right. Okay, there's the there's the weekly, and then you can see on this weekly pattern right here, we've got some more to go to the upside. Now silver's lagging a little bit, but it'll probably catch up. Once, well, we're already through the seven eight six now, I believe. So, yep, we sure are. So it's getting ready to probably have another big uh, another big run to, to the upside. So those are some of the things. Now we're going to switch over here uh, because I want to. We have a break coming up, but when we get back. Uh, these are some of the things I'll be covering in the videos over the weekend, but I want to be watching this this euro because here's where we've been so far, and we'll get the daily up. And I think when is our break coming up? We got a break coming up here. That long away? Wow, a minute and twenty seconds? That's a long time. Let's just get this to the daily, and you'll see the last move up. We went above the six one eight, then we backed off. Let's just double check. Ouch. 
this double chuck I burned myself on the lamp. Hold on here one second. Get to this level right here. This is the last major low. And the low we made today was exact 382, right on the money, on 320857. I'm seeing this secondhand, folks, because I've been watching everything, bonds, wheat. In, I missed, I've been watching the pound. I missed this in the euro. But if you're following the euro and you're trading it, those are the kind of things you want to look at. This is a very fast 382 retracement off the last major low. Remember this one right here? This is where you have a one, two, three, four, five days down. And look where you were. You were sitting right at the old 382 within a heartbeat of the exact number, if I can find it. And I missed it by about uh, 10 pips. Anyway, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I'm going to go through some of the Dow stocks, uh, HD. Uh, is that Humpty Dumpty? Oh, no, it's Home Depot. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's move up and show you here. You can see the I drew the ABCD pattern in here. You can see I just I just made it. You can see we're right down to it. Now what we've done is we've come up to the 70% of this high right here, and we're also coming into the 61% retracement of the high that we made back in here with Home Depot. 
Okay, but the ones you really want to look at is the one that really makes this puppy swing, and that is United Healthcare, my my closest and dearest friend. <laughs> Here's where we are now, folks. How we, oh my gosh, it's actually down on the day. How could that be? That must be a misprint. It has to be a misprint. Anyway, there's United Healthcare. Uh, we've uh, reached the old highs. Uh, haven't quite taken them out as of yet, but uh, this is where we are here. This was the big move yesterday. I, I forget. I think it was 200 points of the Dow was this right here because it's price weighted. Okay. Now, there's a small A, B, C, D. You can say what you like. You've got the big one here. Of course, there's your A, B pattern right here. There's your C, D pattern coming in. Right there, you come down for a little bit. Then you make another new high. So it's going to be interesting whether we continue on with this. Folks, never mind. Just you know, like the bulls say, be careful what you ask for. Here is B, A. I know that is not Bank of America because I'd be trading at 23 cents. Let's look here at the uh, Boeing Airlines. Get the daily up. And as you can see, Boeing has had virtually, it's been in since October the 27th, it's had two down days here, a down day here the rest of the time. Big gap here, earnings. I don't know what this must have been earnings, but same thing. We're almost to new highs, as I recall. Whoa, shut the front door, Larry. Re -re Rephrase that. Because I forget, how could it be at new highs with all the problems this thing's had? Okay, here's where we are uh, with Boeing on the weekly basis. We're going to go down. We're going to see the first retracement that we had here, which was uh, right at the 50% level. You can see that beautiful three drive to a top pattern. Now we're coming back here. We pulled back. It looks like we got an ABC going here. So you, you don't want to stand in front of this one, folks. This is a flat out bullish stock with this weekly like this. Wouldn't touch this one. Let's move on here to the next one. Let's take a look at Mickey Mouse. Where's uh, Walt Disney here? No, that's McDonald's. Uh, where? Oh, I didn't do Disney. Why didn't I not do Disney? Oh, I know why. Because Disney's not one of the, the stocks that makes up. Remember yesterday, our good friend John Jameson sent us this information here on the Dow Jones. Very important here. These are the 15 stocks that I'm following here, folks. You see, those 15 represent 70% of the value of the, of the stock market in the Dow Jones terms, okay? 10 stocks, 15 stocks. You add the 10 stocks on the NASDAQ that make up the, the NASDAQ, you're looking at 25 stocks. Now, you want to hear a statistic that really will absolutely make you unbelievable? That's BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard owns 70 percent of the stocks that are listed in the S&P 500. They own they're, they're they're the largest owner of those stocks, with the exception of the family. I, I I heard that statistics and I I couldn't believe it. Just how big they are. Okay, but remember this: 10 stocks are 57 percent of the Dow, and 15 stocks are 70 percent. Disney is down here somewhere. I forget where it is. It's a uh, yeah, D-I-S, where are you, Diz? Yeah, it's down in here somewhere. I can't, oh, here it is. It's number 25 out of the 30 stocks. So you don't see it's given up uh, quite a bit. Okay, now that's one of the reasons why we're doing it. Let's get back to take a look at a couple of these others. I, I, I never look at stocks, but this explains, you know, why some of this stuff is, you know, going wacko. Let's take a look at, at uh, Goldman Sachs. Here's Goldman Sachs. We're going to bring this up here. It's... Uh, 30 minute let's get the daily up so we can see it it's a long way from its high we had a high at 390 we're now at 346 if we just clean this out for just a little bit and just see where we are there's your retracement this has been in a really strong trend line all the way down look at this this thing has been look at this boy oh boy you talk about getting ready to break out or stop this has got to be it i don't know if that means much or not but boy that's a real interesting one that's uh it's got to get above this 350 before it's even bullish. And so uh, we'll watch that. We're at the 786 of the July high, I believe, is where we are right now. So there's where we are now. We're matching uh, yesterday's high at uh, 347 and change. There's another one. that. Uh-oh, we've got someone has entered the ring in the 13th round. Hold on one second, and we'll be getting a question up here. And it is Michael from Niagara Falls, and he wants to talk about Pfizer, PFE. Okay, hold one second. Michael, how are you doing, buddy? 
I'm surviving. <laughs> that, that's much I'm in better that, than that second. bad e mini tray with you. What? I'm in that same same trade as you have on the e mini. You mean the one that I was in? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not still in it, I hope. Uh, I don't know. We may have topped out on a Friday, but nevertheless, um, I was looking at Pfizer. Are we heading to the yes. March 2020 lows? Well, looking at Pfizer has a huge gap down today of about uh, oh three yeah. or four percent. Let's look at this here on the long term weekly and see where we are. Oh my goodness! Now remember, these are the folks that bring us our famous vaccines. Now there's your and the answer. Blue pill. Whether vac <laughs> this thing, I oh we're already through there, Mike. We're we're breaking through there now. We we're going through we're the 2020 lows. We're two bucks short of a low from March 2020. Uh, mine's showing that we're already through it. That low back there was at yeah. uh, was at 28 to 49, and the low today was no. 28 30. So it's taking that low out. Oh, That's what I it's showing. 26, I have 26 43. No. No, that low back there was it? No, no, that's not true. No. Hey, is the dividend Mike, in danger? Mike, 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 Mike. Are, Mike, are, we, Mike, no, is, are we in danger of cutting the dividend? Mike, I have no idea. That's so far over my pay grade. No. All I know is that's a bearish stock, and you know it tells you how yeah. much the vaccines were worth. You know that's basically my two yeah. cents worth. They've so. got a glut. They've got a glut of the vaccine. They can't give yeah. it away, or they can't yeah. sell to well, anybody. Well, huh? uh, they'll guess what, Mike. There'll be a mysterious illness come up that these vaccines work great on. And that's what the yeah. news will be telling us. <laughs> that and the Brooklyn Could this Bridge, go back my friend. To like the 2004 lows of $20? Well, what's a 29 $20. now? Why would, let's go look at the monthly here. Why couldn't it do that? Look where it is. I mean, you're, 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 you're oh, hold on. We got another. Uh, Mike, we got another caller coming in, buddy. So I'll keep an eye okay, on this. But it looks lower to me, my friend. OK, hold on, folks. Just got one other caller coming in if they've held on long enough to be going. What's going on? OK, there's what we got moving here. OK, let's move on here to the next one we want to look at here. Goldman Sachs. We've got uh, oh, we got a break coming up now. Or not. Oh, we got, yeah, the break is coming. Stay tuned. We got a couple others we want to go through and take a look at these stocks. I think they're important. 877 927 6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I brought the price of uh, General JP Morgan. Uh, the bank, of course. Anyway, you'll notice that Jamie Dimon bought this uh, in 2016 at $59 a share. This was right after the election. Uh, at that time, I think he was, uh, I think he was supporting Trump, but I don't, I don't know. That, that doesn't make any difference. Okay, he bought it at 59, and he still owns it, folks. And here it is. One, two, it's multiplied three times over the past seven, eight years, which is a heck of a return. This is where we are. You can see we're back up against. So this is the weekly. So we're approaching the 78% level. This last pullback on the weekly, probably exactly at the 382. There it is, boys and girls, another 382. So pay close attention to that, okay? Now let's take a look here at uh, a Visa, where everybody borrows their money and everything. Haven't done that for a long time. Let's take a look here. There's where we are here with Visa. Look at this thing, folks. You talk about a stock that is pretty doggone strong. You know, well, why not? They get, <laughs> they charge. I don't know how much they charge, but I think it's 18 percent or so, even more, on some of these things. But let's take a look here. We've come, come very close to completing a very large ABCD here in Visa, very very shortly within about another eight or ten bucks, six dollars. Uh, so watch this number in Visa, 261. We might be there by the end of the day, so just be patient. So let's keep an eye on that one, all right? All right, next one we want to take a look at is Softy. This is actually a little soft today. It's actually moving down, and it's moving down substantially. If they do, or if they're down more than two days in a row, the Dow Jones family will have it deleted from the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And boys and girls, that is a my attempt at being uh, funny, and it's not very funny, but uh, look at this. We've made the 1.27, and we've already backed off a little bit. Now, you'll see the last pullback that we had was that much, okay? So you want to expect at least this much here in Microsoft right here, okay? To, to verify that that's a good number, you go from your last low that you made right here up to your high, and you'd like to see it come into the 382, but the 382 is right here. This will equal that low, which was a major low. So if it gets below this, if you start seeing softy below this price right here, which happens to be, let's call it, this is 367, let's call it 365, down eight bucks. If so, that's the old high back here too. So you start seeing softy below 365, that's why they call it softy. That means it'll be going down lower. But look at this, in just the last few days with the Dow going wacko to the upside, Look at this. Could you believe this if you said that I own Softy and the Dow's up 800 points in two days and it's one of the Dow stocks and look what's happening? You'd say, that can't be. Well, that's the way it is. From your high right here, there's where you want to do your dance, baby, right there at the 382. When that one fails, guess what? Look at the next one. And there it is right again. Bada bing, bada boom. And if you don't believe that one, Try this one for today. 38. Well, it actually went to the 50% today, went above it to the 50% level, but still 
uh, sharply below it uh, as we speak here uh, today. Okay, we'll move on. Hopefully next week we're going to have uh, Peter Elides as our guest. Uh, Peter is, wants to come on when he gets back from his vacation. That's it. Now, if I had to sell something, and remember, McDonald's is not a food company, folks. It's a real estate company. But uh, we've had a big run here in uh, Mickey D here uh, from 245. Uh, we're up uh, above the 78% level right now. Folks, the quality of the McDonald's food has uh, – I was forced to buy a, a filet of fish the other day because I was in a hurry. And, uh, God, I was really surprised how poorly – I think I was just one of the people that got a very bad uh, sample for that day. Everything else must be okay. I'm not going to talk about bad things anymore about any companies. I said something bad about uh, – uh, office a depot uh, on on Tuesday, and I really lived to regret that. When I finally did get through, which was two days later, in a matter of moments, they gave me all my money back and came to pick up the chair. So uh, I stand corrected on that one too. So I had I just had a rough week. I'm looking forward to this week coming to an end for sure. But I'm looking with great expectations of what's going to be happening uh, coming up in the. Uh, future here. All right, we've got a few more to go through here. Uh, here's Mr. Appel, still back up. We've made new highs here. Uh, oh, no, we have not. All we did today, son of a gun, I was really surprised. All we've done today is make an A, B, C, D pattern right up here. It hasn't even come close to those old highs yet. That's way back here. Well, it's within two bucks. No big deal. But if you like A, B, C, D, and some people do, there's your A, B, there's your B leg, there's your C leg, there's your D leg yesterday, and here it is today. That's a quick three points. You don't get that at Dairy Queen, that's for sure. Now we get to the real money is American Suppress. Hold on. This is, uh, no, excuse me, American Express. Okay, look at American Express. We have a beautiful, there's your 78% level. Perfect A, B equals C, D. Guess where it was? God. This was telling you that was such a big bottom and everything. I mean, I just, uh, I have to get over that, folks. Anyway, there's your 78% level. Gap up, gap up, gap up. And now we're back up. We're probably going to make an A, B, C, D if this thing keeps going wacko to the upside, which it it certainly could. So let's uh, watch that one. We're right at the 78% level right now. And uh, the last one is Johnson & Johnson. I almost took a job with them many years ago, but I picked Eli Lilly. Well, Eli Lilly picked me. Okay, let's get up here to the daily here. And they have a uh, new drug out. I don't know what it is, but look, it's been hit really badly, folks. And this is unusual for J&J. &J. It's out of Chicago, as I recall. And they have a wonderful family company, just like Lilly was. But look at this. This is just barely, even with the gap up today, we're just at the 382 right now. You know, that's that's all we've done, even with this gap up of a couple of bucks. So, but look at, oh, look at this pattern here, though, folks. This is why you got to love pattern recognition. Let's just pretend this is the S&P, okay? We'll get rid of this, delete this. I'll delete everything. And look at this beautiful three drive to a bottom we have. Drive one, drive two, drive three. Look at that. That's what you look for. If you like ABCDs, and we do, there's it. Ah, shut the front door. I'm going to draw it in like a pencil like you should if you were home. There's your A, B leg. You clone that, move it in. There's your C, D leg right there. And when does it occur? October the 27th. Shut the front door and raise the rent. You can't make this stuff up. Hold on here one second and we'll be uh, coming in here one second. I want to see how much time we got before the next break, which is in 59 seconds. And I think I've covered every one of the 15 stocks of that group uh, layout. I want to, uh, uh, I guess, move this out, get this back, put this back here. And we'll be back on the main page in one second. And then we'll talk about some of these other things for tomorrow. Uh-oh, here we go. Just a little lag here. Bear with me here for a second. We'll be, we'll be right back. Hold on a second here. Okay, stay with us, folks. Whoa, shut the front door. Look at gold.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is February Gold. The actual February futures contract. It's not the spot gold. It's February, and if we just measure this, we're going to be looking at a. This has got a very high profit. We're up thirty-six dollars today, so a couple more days, like this, and we're going to be up here. Well, it needs another sixty bucks to get there. Taking this old out at one point six one eight at twenty one sixty, this would be like a double top from a long time ago. So. Uh, that that'll be interesting. But let's look at this on the month. Uh, the monthly won't have enough data. No, not good. No, that's not enough enough data. That's why you have to use the uh, you have to use the spot month in order to look at that. And since we've got time, let's quickly do that because we're almost there. Spot is right there, and all we have to do is hit monthly, and you'll see what we're looking at here. Whoa! Look at this, boys and girls. Man, we are getting ready to. Oh my goodness! This is cash gold. Woo! Look out, boys and girls. Whoa, shut the front door. Wow, I didn't realize. I haven't looked at a monthly chart. We're, we're, are you looking at this? $724. All we got to do is clear this, and boy, you could possibly do it. Remember, this one measures to $2150, which was just up here on this little tiny one. But wow, that could really be a big one. Holy cow. Let's, uh, boy, I remember these days back in here when 
Oh boy, a lot of a lot of fun. My grandson was born. I, I was buying, I was buying these hand over fists when he was little, when it was really cheap. Under once it got about four hundred bucks, I scaled it back. But uh, he had a bunch of them, but under uh, three hundred and some under uh, uh, under two eighty, easy. Anyway, let's take a look here at some of these. Hey, we're coming to the end. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, boys and girls. We'll see you on Monday. Get ready, folks. We've got volatility coming, and that's what we want to see. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.